Probably the best way to describe uh, uh, where Beersford is located is we're uh, 25 miles south of Sioux Falls. There's about 5,000 plus, about 5,500 cars at average per day coming in across uh, Highway 46. So we're, uh, we have a lot of traffic through this town every day. And of course, the interstate um, going north and south, there's uh, uh, several, several thousand cars that, that pass uh, on the interstate. So it's, uh, we got an excellent location as far as I'm concerned. We're, uh, we're very fortunate to have our own utilities. By having your own uh, utilities and so on, uh, we think we have uh, very uh, low cost utilities. We have our own cable TV, we have our own internet, we have our own telephone service. We have a lot of historical buildings in Beersford. Uh, there's some downtown. We're in the process right now of renovating some of those buildings. Our um, post office downtown is a historic building. Um, the, uh, actually the city hall that, that we, uh, uh, we now have is, uh, used to be the First National Bank. The depot downtown was actually built when the railroad uh, originally was coming to Beersford. So we have a lot of history. Uh, we want to preserve that history and that's along with uh, what we're doing with the renovation downtown which will help preserve that history. People can pretty much find uh, whatever they would like in downtown Beersford so we invite people to come and shop. I think the uh, our, our new downtown is starting to become uh, on Highway 46. I think in a small town you have more interaction with people. Uh, most people know who you are um, uh, most people know where you work, um, most people about, care about who you are and where you work and if you're having an issue people seem to rally to, to try and, uh, and help you obviously uh, in one way or another so it's uh, I think it's more of a, a small town you get a little more of a caring community uh, rather than the, the uh, uh, place where you don't know who your next door neighbor is. Our industrial park is located right next to the interstate. We have, by the way, about 250 acres in our industrial park, and a lot of that land is located right next to the interstate. Anybody that comes to town or anybody that needs uh, uh, technology, uh, we have all the technology that they would ever need right here. I actually think we have probably more land available for development than any other town anywhere around here. Uh, so we are primed for growth. I think that's uh, extremely important uh, that we keep our, our jobs here in town, we gain more jobs here in town, we keep our tax dollars at home, and uh, which helps the city and everybody else move forward. The park itself, I think it's a beautiful park. The ballpark and the pool kind of highlight our park. Yeah, we installed disc golf out there uh, um, last summer, we have our tennis courts. The uh, uh, band shell is actually located on the edge of our park and it's regularly used for concerts and summer weddings. We have bike trails around town. We're constantly looking to increase the bike trails. North side of town we have the uh, actually two uh, uh, ball fields out there now. Those are utilized uh, beginning of the summer now. There'll be games out there every day. Gun club. Um, we have a, uh, uh, a rifle range out there and a pistol range. And beyond that, we have our, our model airplane uh, uh, club here in town. The bridges obviously houses our our golf club. Actually, inside the event center itself, we can seat 376 people at a sit-down meal. We have a, a nine-hole golf course out here. The course itself is uh, relatively difficult. Uh, we bring an awful lot of people down here to play golf on a regular basis, which is excellent. And I think the city works very well with the school to make sure that uh, we keep our school very viable. That's part of the mix. Uh, you have to have all the, 
the utilities, you have to have all the, the businesses, but the school is vitally important to our growth of our city. We are a K-12 public school district that serves 640 students in the Beersford community and surrounding areas. Uh, we also have a staff that's made up of uh, 85 staff members that support our students and our various programs in our district. Our district has a rich history of high academic achievement, strong core curricular programs, and community involvement in education. Our mission statement is together we aspire, act, and achieve. Our district's vision is customizing instruction uh, to empower students to achieve, and that allows us to offer educational opportunities to meet the diverse needs of our students. In 2008, uh, we were the largest school district in South Dakota to be named a distinguished school district. In 2005 and 2010, Beersford High School was named a distinguished school. In 2005 and 2008, Beersford Middle School was named a distinguished school. And for seven consecutive years, we're very proud that our elementary school was named a distinguished school from 2005 through 2011. Pearson Elementary is the K-5 portion uh, with the preschool connected to it. We have slightly over 300 students in, uh, in the elementary uh, building. Most of our uh, classes are in three sections. Uh, we have a few that are in two sections, but by and large, uh, we try to run a ratio of uh, below 20 to 1. We offer a wide array of opportunities for our kids, including uh, an after-school uh, singing group, uh, world music, drumming, and athletic programs that again we run through our park and rec. Uh, it's a great place to be a kid. Uh, we have a number of volunteers who, who volunteer entire days. Uh, we have uh, retired teachers who come back and help. We have parents who come in and help. And, and so on. And then we have an active parent organization, uh, which in our district we call PEERS. And uh, they, they provide many activities for our, our students and so on. And we're always looking for that to grow. We continually have strived to be on the cutting edge of technology. That truly has meant that we try to put the best technology in the hands of teachers and students. And uh, we were one of the first schools to, uh, to provide laptops. And we provided, uh, we were one of the first schools to go to uh, smart boards. And even though some of that technology now has aged a bit, uh, we continue to be um, very active with iPads and iPods and, uh, and interactive television and Apple TV and all the things that we believe are, uh, are important you know, for kids to have in their hands as they prepare themselves for their future. Beersford Middle School and High School is a, a combined facility, it's 612. Um, we have roughly 330 students that we serve on a daily basis. We're, we're big enough that we have a lot of variety, but we're also small enough that every student is known in a variety of different capacities. Whether a student is particular, interested in a particular club, um, we're taking a look at debate, drama, um, we have plays, uh, art competitions, all things of that nature, um, we can meet those needs. We're also academically, the opportunities provided range from being able to take college credit in your high school career as well as taking high school credit during the middle school career with Algebra 1 offering. And so what we do is we try to figure out what is the appropriate next step for each student. Um, in order to provide the best educational experience for students, you, you cannot be stagnant. You always have to figure out what you can do to get better. Working with, with staff members in terms of effective instruction and things of that nature, we're also to figure out okay, what does it mean to be a 21st century learner. And so it's having those discussions as, okay, what type of thinking skills are we promoting and how does that transfer to the next step. And it, it all ties in together in terms of what the student needs and identifying how we can go about providing that. If you take a look at you know, how we're preparing students for, for life after Beersford, um, indicating how well we've done that it has been with follow-up interviews with students in terms of their um, anecdotal evidence saying, hey, this, this really worked well for us. I know how to do this part when I get to college. Or I wish I would have had more of this since using that to figure out okay, what you need to do next. We have students that leave with 16 college credits, uh, that, or 18 college credits. It gives you an idea of that they're getting what they need to, to meet their next level, as well as others that go through and do earn that diploma to get them ready for the workforce as well. One of the main reasons that uh, I would suggest an individual to come to school here has to do with the, the watchdog community. When I talk about watchdog community, it's not only the, it's parents, it's teachers, it's students, it's everyone knowing each other and utilizing those relationships to help each person uh, to achieve their best. And from a principal to, to student, 
classroom perspective, it's figuring out what we can do to make sure that each individual has what they need to move forward on what's most appropriate to them. And it's that unique sense of belonging um, that you can't get anywhere else. We also offer a wide range of uh, academic and co-curricular programs um, to help our students succeed. I believe our district and our community is very progressive and we have a commitment to quality that exists throughout our school and our community. Um, we're very fortunate as a district to have parent support and community support for our K-12 education system. Uh, the support we receive for our public schools is outstanding. Um, we believe our families and our community are important educational resources and uh, we like to work with them. Um, we have some groups called peers where parents enhance things that go on in our schools. We have parent advisory groups and we also have a volunteer program that is strong in our schools. Um, we also have many community organizations that work to support our schools and community including our Watchdog Education Foundation, the Beersford Area Foundation, Community Education, uh, Legends of Gold, uh, Beersford Economic Development Corporation, uh, Chamber, City of Beersford, uh, Lions Club, and the Ministerial Association to name a few. And those entities all work together to support our community and our efforts at school.